Five fucking minutes. That's all we asked for was for five fucking minutes. We didn't ask you to hold any bills. We didn't ask you to send in the troops. We didn't ask you for any of that. We just asked you for five minutes from our sitting president and our VP who's running to be president running on black issues. But when another innocent black man is getting killed by the state, you are nowhere to be found. And actually, I found out that we can't even type his name out on your HQ without it being taken down. This shit is disgusting. It's funny how she's black and black and collard greens, but here we are. Here's your time to shine, Camilla. And I know you bitch ass niggas. The government don't work like that. It don't work like that. No, 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 no. They have power to do something about this. Even if it isn't ink to paper, they have voices to put not only the millions that's watching this around the globe, but billions of people eyes on this. And they can sit here and watch the state make excuses for lynching another innocent black man. And this is not the only innocent black man that has been killed by the police or the state this month. We couldn't even get five Minutes from you, and you think I'm going to spend five minutes in the line voting for you? Fuck out of here. I am so sick and tired of watching my brothers bleed for nothing. While you guys just sit by, we didn't get not one progressive in office speaking about this. Not Bernie Sanders, AOC, Rashida Tlaib. None of them that's holding power is speaking about this because they don't give a fuck. And when you, when you don't use your voice for the better, it just makes you <laughs> complicit in this man's death. We couldn't get five fucking minutes. This is how I'm feeling, and I'm pretty sure I'm not alone on this. If that man don't get to go home, I don't believe the governor should be able to go home either. I don't think the cops should be able to go home either. Yes, I mean scorched earth because they are not going to take us serious until we start to take ourselves serious. They are not going to stop taking our lives until we show them their life is just as disposable. And just because you hold some type of power don't mean that you can't be touched. We need to really, we need to really let these motherfuckers know. Because the people in power don't care. But we do. We have the power to stop this shit. And if we can't stop it, we can stop the next one. They would think before they ever pull something like this off again. We didn't, we didn't do it more for less. It's time to fight.